Greetings, YouTubers. Good evening. New Time Travel Behind Me 88. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And tonight is time for another Throwback Thursday. And we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. I am going to show off Doctor Who, the complete first series on DVD. This is the original box set release. This DVD came out back on March 26, 2006 on DVD. This is the new Who starring Christopher Eccleston and Billy Piper. This is a five DVD set. And I finally got a clean copy of this at Macari back in 2020. And this is a very nice, good condition. And I really love Doctor Who. Because I've been a Doctor Who fan since 1993. Anyway, um, before we get into showing off of this set, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Doctor Who guide, Alex Patterson. Alex Patterson, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent, dude. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out his channel on YouTube. I will put the link in the description down below. And to Michael Steinmates. Michael Steinmates, keep up the good work. Okay, let's take a look at the packaging. Okay, you have the Ninth Doctor and Rose Tyler. That's Christopher Eccleston and Billy Piper. And surrounded with the police public call box. Doctor Who, the complete first series. This is a five disc, five DVD set. There's the BBC video logo and there's the DVD. And let's take a look. You have the spine. Let's take a look at the other side. Here's the top. That's the... TARDIS lamp up there. Here's the back. And here's the episodes. You have the first one. The first disc. Rose. The End of the World and the Unquiet Dead. Then on the second disc. DVD 2. Aliens in London. World War 3 and Dalek. The Long Game. Tharver's Day. The Empty Child and the Doctor's Dance, that's on the third disc. On disc, yeah. DVD 4, Boomtown, Bad Wolf, and the Parting of the Waves. I like these episodes. And when they went into um, the weakest link, Rose and weakest link, and then, then um, the first, the ninth Doctor, and the big brother, and Captain um, Jack and yeah, I believe is in that like a top gear or something like that and there's the confidentials um, uh oh Aliens of London that's the one where Rose Tyler's mom slapped the doctor after they, um, missing her nearly five hours of special features 2005 585 minutes BBC to entertain logo and there's the BBC America.com and there's the Warner home video logo Let's look at the back. You got the legalese information Dolby digital. There's the barcode. Let's look at the side This is looking good now on the UK release. It slides up like this All right, let's look that's the picture of the TARDIS with the Public phone, free for public use. Let me um, zoom in real quick. There you go. Let's look at the back. The back should be like, has no door handles on there. Let's look at the sides. Look at that. And, ooh, look at that. These are the DVDs to represent the 2005 and 2010 TARDISes with the 9th and 10th Doctor TARDISes. 
representing the DVDs. And then you have the Doctor Who Confidentials. Ooh, yes. Now, this is the condensed version of the Confidential because this U.S. release removes the reference to the classic clips of the classic Doctor Who. If you want to check out the full Confidential, you sh then I would definitely recommend to get their Region 2 DVD released. All right, let's take a look. Here you got the episode guide. Very neat. Plus, you have four information by Russell T. Davis. He came back last year in 2023. And that's the new and improved Dalek. There's the updated Autons. And what are these creatures? If someone knows, let me know in the comments below. Here's the chapter points for... For the episodes for Rose. Special features got interviews with Christopher Eccleston. Then you had the making of the Doctor Who, Destroying a Liar, plus the Waking the Dead launch trailers. Then you got Aliens of London, World War Three. I give these both episodes a 10 out of 10. Great um the special effects plus the slithings, the evil creatures, and yes, they do pass gas. Yes. <laughs> there we got chapter points for Aliens in London, World War Three, and Dalek. Special features on set with Billy Piper deconstructing Ben Big Ben and the trailers. Plus, you have some behind the scenes. There's Lady uh, Lady Cassandra moisturize me. And forgot which one it is. That look that one of like from the episode The Empty Child. And there's Julie Christopher Eccleson, John Barman. That looks like the the woman, one of the Slithines. TV reality doesn't get better than this ever, says the Guardian Guide. Russell T. Davis. Clearly having the time of his life, says Heat Magazine. And all the reviews. And there's the look like the open of the Dalek brain. That's Captain Jack riding with the bomb. That reminds me of Doctor Strange Loved. And that's um, Simon Pegg. I forgot which, which character that is. And looks like it's a... Deep space station, and the guy they and he broke the rules of the game, and that's when he finds out that when he snapped the finger, and that's the head came out with this one, and that's why he never ever wants to travel with the doctor again. Father's Day. Powerful episode, great one, along with the long game. I had to rewatch these episodes. There's the chapter points for the long game, Father's Day, The Empty Child, and Doctor's Dance. Special features. And then, um, Parting of the Waves. Christopher Eccleston left the series after the first season, before the series, um, Returns to the airways in March of that year. Christopher Eccleston announced he's stepping down the role because, due to um, some behind the scenes production problems on the set, he didn't came back. He did not came back on the 50th anniversary special in 2013, but he did came back in a big finish of uh, stories. And there's the Dalek with. With like a brain Dalek octopus. Here's the chapter points for Boomtown, Bad Wolf, and Parting of the Waves. And there's a confidential narrated by Simon Pegg. Shows you behind the scenes of these episodes. Plus you got some chapter stops.
plus the backstage of Christmas Invasion. And let's look at the credits. Very neat. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to put this back in there like so. This is a very good set. I really love it. Now, you're not going to find this original set anymore because it is out of print. In 2012, it is out of print and it's repackaged with a slimmer casing. I finally got this in the original box set releases. Now, if you're planning to get this original box set, be careful purchasing it on eBay and through Amazon because like third party sellers because you don't want to end up getting a because there is a bootleg version of the original box set claiming to be the original. Ask the seller to take a picture of it. Or you find some pictures on eBay or certain sites. Or if you're trying, if you're helping, um, trying to find this set, uh, let the doctor who guide it. He can help you um, um, find the set with the best point prices. I'm lucky to find this set. I had this set before back in 2013, but this is a this is the upgrade DVD copy because. It's in better, the sleeves and the DVD box set are in a very, very good conditions. No wears, no tears, nothing. So if you're a Doctor Who fan, this is a definitely a good set. Sorry, I dropped my glasses. But I'm going to tell you um, my thoughts and opinions on the episode. Um, Rose. A very good introduction. 10 out of 10. Aliens of London and World War III. They also give a good 10 out of 10. Dalek. Underrated story. For as these other episodes. I have to go back and rewatch the story. So. Yeah. Now you saw me. Do, saw, now you saw me doing this before. In a terrible camera quality. But now. I finally got this, able to do this again in a 60 frame per second camera. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Throwback Thursday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.